In my dreams, I can levitate, always have been able to. I can't fly, that nonsense is for dreamers. No, I can just lift off the ground and hang there, maybe six feet from the deck. Sometimes I go up as much as ten feet, but never much farther. This serves no actual purpose. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm not taking advantage of my elevation to pick apples, or peep in second-story windows, or avoid anything on the ground. I'm just levitating. I'm convinced after spending a couple days in the Nevada desert with Ford's newest that it harbors dead similar dreams. In its promotional materials, Ford habitually shows the raptor, both this generation and the last, leaping into the air, big wheels dangling. The corporation invariably notes that these shots are achieved through digital photo manipulation, or were performed by a professional driver on a closed course. Curiously, the company sometimes mentions both provisos, but make no mistake, this beefed up, desert running, high speed brew dreams of air as surely as I do. And so, in preparation for this desert drive, I readied myself by conjuring up visions of our ruby red raptor suspended in midair, while the Mojave Desert streamed by underneath like a treadmill of rock and dust and crispy creosote bushes, and sure, why not, an adorable desert bunny or two. We aim to retrace the route of the early Mint 400 races, but that development and adult memories meant that we could only stitch together pieces of the original 68 race mostly along the Nevada-California border. In reality, it's not quite like that. The leap is more like a short guitar lick rising away from the chugging rhythm of the ground, which keeps pace with the track until the 5,700 pounds of badassery rejoins the shuffle.